Hi, my name is Marchin, founder of Open Source Ecology. So we're here with our first ever workshop on the brick press. Uh, first experience of getting a crew of about 24 people to work on the brick press together. And we're going to finish that today. Hi, my name is Max Better. I'm from Wales in the UK. Um, I've been in uh, Open Source Ecology for a week. We built the micro house last week. Uh, I'm a criminal investigator from the UK and uh, I've come here with, you know, not much knowledge in practical issues, but um, yeah, doing the lab yesterday was great. It was a, a long day, but really good fun. My name is uh, Chris Popoff. I'm a Bulgarian software engineer from San Diego, California. And um, I've been excited about um, CB construction as the alternative to, uh, to concrete and steel uh, in the urbanization of the developing world. Hey, I'm Andrew. Uh, I'm from Australia originally. I uh, normally do uh, visual effects for the Hollywood film. And I've just recently uh, gone in on a share for buying some land in Australia. And we hope to replicate uh, this OSE philosophy over there in Australia. Um, so far, I've been here for about the last two months, uh, helped with the soil mixer build and now with the CEB build or, and the micro house build. And uh, it's the most rapid learning environment I've ever been in. It's, um, I've never learned so much about so many different um, disciplines in, in such a short space of time. So hi, my name's Andre. Uh, I'm from New Jersey. I spent most of my life, uh, professional life, working in finance and IT for pharmaceutical companies. I've never been in a machine shop before, and suddenly I know a bit about arc welding, I know about um, uh, punching holes and putting things together in a way I never did before. It's a really intense working environment. In addition to the environment, the conversations are great. It's a great bunch of guys that came together so smoothly, it's impressive. I wish Pfizer could do this. My name is Rob Bedingfield. I'm a mechanical engineer from Opelike, Alabama. And uh, I work in a machine shop, metal fabrication shop, and the, the thing is, though, is that uh, if I do much metal work, it's because I sneak out in the shop after hours. <laughs> so. Hi, I'm Howard Hawhey, uh, also known by my Spanish nickname of El Jaguar, the Jaguar. And uh, I uh, am from Austin, Texas. I'm a software developer there. And this is uh, my first experience doing almost all of this, you know, um, any sort of uh, hands-on uh, development uh, for my first time in a machine shop um, and just uh, being in this uh, group collaborative effort. I don't know how this worked, but you know, it might be the type of person that's attracted, it might be the size of the group, a little bit of all of that, but basically uh, what has happened is it's just all kind of flowed together. Hi, I'm uh, Tyler Ross. I'm from London, Ontario. Uh, I came down here about a week ago for the microhouse workshop. Uh, that was a lot of fun, swarming together to build that. Um, now the brick press workshop is, has been a lot of fun too. Uh, I haven't welded in probably about 15 years since college, so it's, it's been really, uh, uh, it's really fun getting back into the shop. I'm a mechanical engineer back home, so I usually sit on my ass most of the time, so it's nice to, to be on my feet and actually welding and stuff. So. Um, I think the, the, the whole uh, design process is starting to come together and, and uh, people are really getting behind it. Hello, my name is Tom Griffin. I'm from the great state of Texas. And uh, I have a house in Dallas and also a 20-acre farm over in East Texas. I uh, studied electrical engineering and computer science and I have a small uh, computer consulting company in Dallas and also teach at community college. Uh, in Dallas as well. I spend most of my time out at the farm though. I'm uh, working on uh, permaculture and, and also build power cubes out in, in Texas. Well, I'm Sam. I'm, uh, I currently live in Missouri. I'm an engineer officer. I came here more for the to see the process and how the interpersonal dynamics of you know a couple dozen people coming together and trying to build this very complex machine, how that all works out. It's been very enlightening. Alright, uh, my name is Dustin Poole. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm a tattoo artist and permaculture designer. I'm currently doing advanced studies in permaculture with a focus on architecture and natural building, which is why I'm here. And I really enjoyed picking up a lot of new skills, which is also why I'm here. I've never welded before or done anything like that, so it's been a really good learning experience. 
and I really hope to take these back to Calgary and then maybe down south to Central America and use these to help people. So. Hi, I'm Christopher Chow and I'm from New York. Um, I'm an environmental science major. I still go to school and college. Um, this is my last semester, but uh, I've came over here to, this is my third workshop and I'm very excited every time I'm here I've been learning more than I've been learning in school so um, that's why I keep coming back and uh, it's been fun I, I feel like the CEB press is uh, really important and that's why I'm here at this specific workshop Hello my name is Scott Mater I flew up here from Belize where I've called home for about the last 10 years I am absolutely blown away by everyone here and what we're doing uh, Yesterday we started construction for the uh, compressed earth brick press. There was a lot of grinding, a lot of welding, a lot of sparks flying, and a lot of creativity, and a lot of uh, checking of measurements and precision. I'm, I was pretty happy about that. And ultimately my goal for myself is to try to get as much of this equipment that is created here down to Belize over the next few years and then just share it with the community.